President Trump names an acting defense secretary as James Mattis prepares to depart to the administration. One America's Kendra Sitton has details on his background and what he will bring to the Pentagon. President Trump announces Deputy Defense Secretary Patrick Shanahan will become acting defense secretary in the new year, replacing James Mattis. Mattis had originally planned to stay at the Pentagon until the end of February, but President Trump said Sunday Shanahan will be taking over on January 1st, pushing the outgoing secretary out two months early. The move is unusual because the U.S. has rarely had an acting Secretary of Defense. Usually the outgoing one stays on until their replacement is confirmed in the Senate. Shanahan developed a close relationship with President Trump and Vice President Mike Pence as he spearheaded the proposed Space Force. He praised President Trump's commitment to the military and to selling military equipment to partners overseas. You've made us stronger. Under your leadership, we are stronger. And you know, with Congress's support, we've got a budget that makes us stronger. When you look at where we've come in terms of readiness, we now have the munitions that we, we lacked before. Ships are sailing. Airplanes are flying. And the most important piece is we're training more. Before he became Deputy Defense Secretary in early 2017, Shanahan was a Boeing executive. The MIT grad was known as a fix-it man who oversaw the company's global supply chain strategies. He has no prior military experience, but Shanahan said he learned the American ideology of service before self from his veteran dad, who served in the Vietnam War. Shanahan has brought a focus on business to the Pentagon, where he says the focus should not be on the budget or level of effort, but rather on outcomes, especially to increase performance on lethality, alliances, and reform. He's working to modernize the Defense Department. And I think the most important um, aspect is the budget will allow us to modernize so that we can compete. The modernization is the single most important work that we have to get mm -hmm. to undertake, and we're undertaking it. Mattis has disagreed with several of President Trump's policies, including withdrawing troops from Syria. He decided to step aside last week to let someone more aligned with President Trump's agenda take over. As both the president and Shanahan come from the business world, they may share a similar focus on improving the performance of the military and have a better relationship for it. Meantime, Mattis and Shanahan are working to make sure the DOD stays focused on defending the U.S. during the transition. Kendra Sitton, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.